Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous tutorial, we have successfully completed the whole module of category. Now, we need to bind this category with the tutorial post here. We need a drop down in which we can select a category. It may be a single or a multiple. Here we have a theme and here I am going to suggest the multi select in this multi select we can select multiple or single value here is the single and here is multiple value now if we want to extract value from here it is simple as we are getting value from text field simply you can see here it is the id and extract the value and the value will be in an array so we will separate it, it in comma and save within the database now what we need to do we need to copy this first empty this and from this select we will copy it and paste in our code so let's go into the code here we have draft list and here we have the input view right after this we will right after title we will add this okay and its id is category so now after giving the id now we need to load the categories which we will learn in the next video right now we will develop its front end and refresh tutorial post and see how it's look alike now go to the create and here we have we can select multiple but it is not look like um, this one so what we will do we will open a document and search for the file here we have component select component select two here is that let's open it in visual studio search for multi or append id from here it is getting started or we can directly inspect the ID from here to quickly search that here is okay here it is the button all form which we need to copy and paste here okay now the next we need to find its click listener or any form button or have to check uh, which 
js it is using to initiate that here it is the select plugin which we need to add or even we can find all the js files select to here we have min.js which we need to add here in this file now once you refresh the page and see it is working or not else we will add another reference having full dot min js it still not worked okay we need to add another reference which is this now refresh once again here is the page level CSS which we need to add here too now add the CSS here you can see it is added now we, we need to add the CSS which we have added okay so now here you can see uh, here it is how it look like so we will remove this one from our code uh, <coughs> a or here it is so we need to remove this label first thing second uh, rest of the things are fine And here you can see we have a multi select drop down by which we can select multiple category or single category for our tutorial post. In the next tutorial, we will dynamically load the multi select options. If you have any kind of question, you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. Take care, bye bye, have fun.